Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes when we're trying to simplify exponential ex expressions, we can make our job a lot easier by thinking ahead just a little bit. When we take a look at this, eventually we know we're going to have to flip the equation around to make that into a positive. But if we ignore that for a moment and just look at what's inside the parentheses, notice we have an x cubed in the denominator and an x squared in the numerator. So if we bring the x squared down, it becomes x to the minus 2. And then when we add exponents, you notice that the positive exponent in the denominator for x will be bigger than the negative exponent. So we end up with some x to some positive exponent. Same with the y. We can bring the y to the negative 1 down. And we end up with a y with a positive exponent in the denominator. So that simplifies things right away. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So this becomes the same as 1 over x cubed to, and a minus 2 here because when we bring this to the denominator it becomes a negative 2 exponent and y to the fifth power plus 1 because when we bring this down the negative becomes a positive. So you can see that this becomes a much simpler expression right away by just kind of thinking ahead and realizing where the largest exponents, largest positive exponents and move the other ones down instead of the, the ones down here up or something like that. At this point, this then simplifies to 1 over x to the first power and y to the sixth power, all raised to negative 2 power. And then you realize you can quickly turn that into a positive by moving that up. So this is equal to x y to the sixth to the second power. And then when we apply that using the rule that if an exponent is raised to the exponent, we multiply. So this becomes x squared y to the twelfth power. And you can see that very quickly you can get to a simplified result by thinking ahead a little bit and realizing where the largest positive exponents are and then moving everything else down or up to those largest exponents. And that is how that's done.